I love movies and this holiday season, I thought it would be a ton of fun to watch someone's like top 10 Christmas movie list and tell you guys what I think, share the list with you. So I didn't know which list to pick, so I did a little tappity tappity on the computer, a little Google search and what came up but Rotten Tomatoes list of the top Christmas movies ever. Now there are 65 <laughs> movies on this list, but I only went with the top 10. And what was interesting about this list, there were a lot in the top 10 that I had never seen. So I definitely wanted to include my family in this video, tell you what I thought of them. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you my top 10 list and maybe some of my kids' favorites as well. Here's one of the main questions is, how in the world did Rotten Tomatoes put the list together? It plays with the spirit of Christmas and holidays as a central theme, sorted them by their ranked formula, which factors the movie's release year, the number of reviews, to make the ultimate list of holiday films. Based on this standard, which seems kind of an interesting decision, it feels like the older movies will be in the top 10 because they've been around longer. So of course they would have more reviews in them. Movie number 10 is a movie called Tangerine. I have never heard of it before and it is rated R, therefore inappropriate to show to my younger children. I have a nine year old and a 12 year old and I think a rated R movie is just not quite time, you know? Movie number nine, we also did not watch because it is also rated R. It is the movie Carol from 2015. Again, one I have never heard of and not appropriate for this family channel. Okay, moving into number eight, a movie we can watch. It is 1944's Meet Me in St. Louis with the amazing Judy Garland. Shocker of shockers, I have never seen this movie before until we watched it with my family. So let's go check out what everybody thought. Have you ever seen Meet Me in St. Louis? Yes, I have. I've never seen it. Really? <laughs> Whoa. You're really shocked. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really rare that you've seen a classic movie that I haven't. My family watched Meet Me in St. Louis all the time. We love musicals just like your family. Maybe not as hardcore, but this was one of our staples. You probably did more musicals. And it's Judy Garland, isn't it? Yes, it is oh, Judy yeah. Garland. So. I'm excited, it's my first time. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, here we go. We can stream it on Amazon, so that is what we are doing right now. What do you think? I thought it was cute. Yeah, it is cute. I'm, I'm all for like the older, older type movies. Here's my complaint. My top 10 list that I found, White Christmas is not on there. White Christmas is a classic. I haven't even heard of I gotta go, Mimi and St. Louis No, I've heard tonight. it, but <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go look at the list again, because I gotta be sure. What did you boys think of it? It was calm. You were a little bored. Yeah. Yeah, the boys were a little bored. <laughs> Final thoughts for me, super cute movie, love the music, didn't feel uber Christmassy to me personally, but would watch again. Number seven is 2019's version of Little Women. Because my kids had never seen this movie, I felt it more appropriate to watch the earlier edition. We pulled out the 1994 version of Little Women with Christian Bale, Winona Ryder, Susan Sarandon. Here's how Little Women went in my family. Tell me what you think. 2019 version or Winona Ryder version? Which do you prefer? Most of my family has not seen it. Of course, Dave and I have seen it. Claire Danes? Come on, you knew Claire Danes was in this. No, I have not seen this version. Oh, <gasps> you have never, I just told the viewers you've seen this. I don't remember it even a little bit. No, when I was 15, if it, was, if it had had Claire Danes in it, I would have watched it. I think you were too busy wearing your hammer pants to, <laughs> to sit down and watch anything all about women with your sisters. I feel like it was very much of a Christmas movie. They did have Christmas in there like once, I, I mean two or three times, <laughs> but it wasn't like any part of the plot at all. You've never seen it before, what'd you think? It was okay, it's not my favorite. Did you like it more or less than Meet Me in St. Louis? Oh, less. Less. Interesting. Did you prefer this or Meet Me in St. Louis? I prefer this. And I think it's because like the time frame. I love movies that are set in that. The time frame. Number six, 1993 is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now this one is deeply loved, deeply loved by me. I saw this movie in the theater when it came out and then we bought the VHS immediately after its release. Now back in the day, 
There was no internet to go search for song lyrics and there were no lyric lists inside the VHS. You couldn't get the lyrics to the songs unless you did what me and my brother did and that is to watch a line, pause it, write it down, rewind, watch it again, make sure our words were right and on to the next line of the song. We did that with every single song in The Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> my favorite song has to be the Oogie Boogie song kind of at the end. It is so much fun to sing. If you have never ever seen Nightmare Before Christmas, you have to see it. It's really good and all my kids have all loved it. Number five is another amazing classic. It is The Grinch. And no, it's not the Jim Carrey version. It's a 1967 animated cartoon version that I grew up with. It's so good. We were able to find it on YouTube. My kids and I just had the best time watching that movie. It's really short. It's less than 30 minutes. It's really fun. The music's fun. Total throwback to my childhood. I'm so happy right now. The amount of joy and bliss <laughs> that I'm feeling. <laughs> Look, even Speedy likes it. Number four is where things started to get weird because as I'm going through this list, I'm scrolling down and I notice White Christmas is not in the top 10. I like completely flabbergasted how White Christmas does not make it to your top 10 all time Christmas movies. Like I don't even get it. Number four is Shop Around the Corner. 1940 movie with Jimmy Stewart. We learned a little something interesting while we were watching this movie. So go check that out right now. And here we go, Shop Around the Corner. We were not very far into the movie when I paused it and I'm like, why does it feel so much like you've got mail? So we looked it up. And sure enough, You've Got Mail is a modern remake of this movie. <laughs> yeah, when I found that out, I was surprised. Yeah, it totally, totally had You've Got Mail vibes, completely. <laughs> we finished it and Dave's like, what did this have to do with Christmas? <laughs> I was like, well, it like ends on Christmas Eve. It's Christmas time, they put up a Christmas tree. Yeah, it snowed. As a huge fan of You've Got Mail, I have lost count of the amount of times I have seen that movie. I knew I noticed some similarities when I was watching scenes from Shop Around the Corner. There were a lot of parts that I didn't really understand or, or knew why they were in the movie. My kids didn't really like it. Like Haley kind of watched it. The boys completely lost interest. So that's not, I wouldn't call it a kid friendly movie just cause it's, it's an older movie and it's really slow. Good ending. Love Jimmy Stewart. Number three, Holiday Inn. Also, I've never seen this. I was excited to see it because of who was in it. Action. For the opportunity to refuse. I was afraid the offer might be too important. Listen, I love Bing Crosby. I could listen to him sing all day. And I could watch Fred dance all day. But there wasn't a lot of that. <laughs> the premise of the story was really dumb. These guys are not friends. Fred's character kept stealing the girl from the other guy the whole dang movie. Yeah. Two different girls, two different times. This is not a friend. Why was it Christmassy? <laughs> they, I mean, they introduced the White Christmas song, which was beautiful. Why, why is this one in the top 10? I don't know. Anyway, we watched it. I'm depressed. Number two is Miracle on 34th Street. It is the old version, 1947, which I love. I've seen as a kid, but haven't seen in a really long time. And honestly, I really like the 1994 version as well. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. To really get into the holiday spirit today, we're gonna make it smell like the holidays. This one is called Holiday Hearth. Hearth? Hearth. hearth. It's hearth. Let's get some holiday scent going on and then we will start Miracle on 34th Street. I don't think any of my kids have seen it. Okay, I've seen like the first 20. Years. Okay, so basically no one has seen this one. So we'll report back in three, two. Pause, I have to light the candle. Okay, before we count down to the movie review, I also have to show you this. If you have not gone to watch the Olaf Presents like shorts, these are hilarious. Please go watch it and report back to me which is your favorite. They're, they're very, very funny. Now, movie review in three, two, one. Mom, your camera hand. My camera hand? No, look, you didn't. You went, you went. Oh, dang, you're right. <laughs> Oh, what did we think, guys? Loved it. What do you have to say? It's one of my favorites of all it time. It is one of your favorites? Do you like the remake? I've never seen the remake. I, I actually- Who watches the remake? Stop. I actually like the remake. I've never seen I it. I think it's pretty good. Oh, come on, the original is so good. No, I agree, I love the original, but I think the remake is pretty good, I don't hate it. I feel like I'm cheating on the original if I watch the remake. Okay, next movie on the list is 
And number one, also my number one on my top 10 list is 1946's It's a Wonderful Life, Jimmy Stewart again. We're ready to start the next movie with this ice cream, Lumps of Coal Ice Cream from Walmart. It was $1.47 for this container. We'll see if it's any good at all. For those that want to know, It's a Wonderful Life is available on Amazon Prime for free if you are an Amazon member. It is two hours and 10 minutes long, so grab your ice cream, grab a drink, someone to cuddle with, and let's get going. I stick to my original decision. It's a Wonderful Life wins the day. Fabulous movie, and I may have cried a little. I thought it was really good how he realized that if he was never born, all the bad things that happened. You're saying you like the part where he realized his life meant something? Yeah. Okay, good. I think some of the movies on this Rotten Tomatoes list in the top 10 are a little interesting selection for a top 10 like Christmas movies. I decided to give you two lists of my own. First, let's go with the kids. I went to my own children and asked them what their favorite holiday movies are, and this is what they gave me. In no particular order, Ernest Saves Christmas, Elf, It's a Wonderful Life, Home Alone 1 and 2, not 3, The Polar Express, the cartoon version of The Grinch, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Meet Me in St. Louis. Who said that one? I did. Andrew. Andrew's almost 15, so you have an age range. The Christmas Chronicles, that's a that's a Netflix original, right, Andrew? Yes. We, of course, have Charlie Brown's Christmas, and I've got a bonus one for you. If you have never, ever seen Donald Duck's snowball fight with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, you need to go on YouTube and look it up. It is wildly funny. Here is my list in no particular order, although one and two are It's a Wonderful Life and White Christmas. That's one and two. Okay, the rest are in no particular order. The Grinch version with Jim Carrey, because my kids already took the cartoon one. The Muppets Christmas Carol is an all-time favorite of mine. It is not Christmas if I have not seen that movie. A Christmas Story is also one of those. I grew up watching that one on endless loops on Christmas Day. I adore that movie. While You Were Sleeping has to make an appearance. It is your classic rom-com over the Christmas break. It's so good. <laughs> All of the Santa Claus movies that I will lump into one, those are Dave's personal favorite like Christmas movies. He has to watch all of them every Christmas. I love the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Island of Misfit Toys. I don't remember what year that came out. It's pretty old, but that's a that's a classic in my house. And I'm a huge fan of Edward Scissorhands. I lost count of how many that was. Haley wanted to pitch in a few bonus movies for you. She recently watched The Holiday for the first time and loved it. So if you haven't seen The Holiday in a long time, go ahead and watch that and ignore Cameron Diaz's performance. But peep her wardrobe. Her clothes in that movie are phenomenal. Two last really fun movies. Christmas with the Cranks is hilarious. It's a movie adaptation of a book. It's definitely cheesy, but we love the Mistletones. Movie is very, very funny, and it's just a fun, lighthearted time. That was a lot of movie talk, but movies are hands down one of my favorite things to do with my family is just geek out on movies at any time, all day, all night, and especially holiday themed ones. So if you have a movie favorite that I did not mention in this list that you love, let me know what it is down below. So if people are trying to find another fun Christmas movie to watch with their loved one or their kids, they can have some more ideas. I will have my full list that I talked about today, the Rotten Tomatoes list, my list, my kids list, all listed in the description box for you. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope you have a happy holidays.